So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today I got a, a very cool mini PC stick to show you. Now this is gonna be a dongle, so it plugs directly into your TV or your monitor. And this can work in a lot of different scenarios. So first obvious one is if you're looking for digital signage, uh, maybe you own a business or you wanna have something running in your house that you just need something plugged in to, to flash your display, flash your advertising, this will be an ideal device. Now this can also work as a streaming device. So if you wanna stream Netflix, YouTube, uh, this does have that capability as well. And this also can be ideal if you do a lot of traveling. So whether you have an external monitor or you wanna hook it up to a TV in a hotel or something like that, all you need to do is plug this in, plug in your keyboard and mouse, and you should be good to go. So this is the Melee Mini PC Stick, and this is model PCG02. GLK. Now this is powered by an Intel J4105 processor and this ranges in speed from 1.5 all the way up to 2.5 gigahertz. Now this does come with Windows 10 pre-installed, 4 gigs of DDR4 memory as well as 64 gigs of internal storage. Now you can expand that storage up to 128 gigabytes with the use of a micro SD card. And as far as the wireless network, supports dual band 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz and also comes with a dedicated ethernet port on the back if you guys prefer wiring it in. Now the graphics is Intel UHD Graphics 600 and this does support real Ultra HD 4K at 60 frames per second. So just to give you an idea of how small this device is, this is the Fire Stick 4K, and this is the TiVo Stream 4K. It is gonna be a little bit bigger than both, but just remember that this is a fully operating computer, and it does have a built-in ethernet port as well. Now, if you're worried about this device hanging on your TV and the weight of it damaging your television via the HDMI port, they did go ahead and send an HDMI to HDMI female adapter. And how that works essentially, guys, you just plug this in here, now this part can go to your TV. Plug this in here, and then you don't have to have the entire weight of this device hanging on your HDMI port. Now, in addition to the HDMI adapter, they also sent a couple of different plugs, so it might work depending on which region you're in. I believe that one's the UK, that one's Asia, and this, of course, is the US. Now, it also comes with your power brick. The input on this is 120 to 240 volts and the output is going to be 5 volts at 300 milliamp. Now this is a micro USB. With all that said and done, the device is going to be fanless. There are no mechanical parts so this should provide plenty of power. As far as getting this connected, we just go ahead and snap it in and we're all set. Now taking a look around the device, uh, this is a very good looking device I would say guys. Um, of course, the, the metal fins right here is gonna dissipate the heat from the processor. So that's on both sides of the device. It does have ridges in there to essentially allow the air to flow through and cool your device down. On this side, you're gonna have your antenna. You also have your micro SD slot right here. On the back side, you have your Kensington lock, your ethernet, you also have an audio jack. Now on the other side, two USB 3 ports, your power plug, which is a micro USB port, and you do have your power and reset button. And the last thing is we have our HDMI adapter on the front. So let's get it plugged into a monitor. We're gonna do a benchmark. We're gonna do some gaming tests, some streaming tests, and drop your comments in the comment section below. Let me know if you want me to do a Plex setup on this. That way we can test to see if this can essentially run a Plex media server. So here we are in the operating system, and like I said, this is a full version of Windows. The installed memory is four gigs, 3.83 is usable. That's because a portion of this is being used for your graphics. You can see the, the processor, 1.5 gigahertz, 64-bit operating system, and further down, and probably most importantly, you can see that Windows is activated, and it is a Windows 10 Pro. So like I said, this is a fully functional computer and you can see you have all the Microsoft programs. So you have Word, you have PowerPoint, you also have Excel and everything looks pretty good. Now, one cool thing about this mini PC is that it does have an ethernet port built in the back. Now this is a gigabit ethernet. So if you guys have that option, you can go ahead and plug it in, but also is the Wi-Fi itself any good? So what I'm gonna do is two speed tests. The first one's gonna be on Wi-Fi. The second one's gonna be wired and we're gonna see if any differences are there. Now, before we start the test, just know that I am paying for the 400 megabits per second download and about 20 uploads. So let's go ahead and do a couple tests. So the results are in. So on Wi-Fi, I got 318 and 19 now wired. I did get 379 on the download and 23 uploads. So 
these are results that I can actually live with. So you can see not much loss there, still pretty smooth. And I didn't notice any issues that were network related. Let's test a couple videos. We just want to see if this actually translates. Even though I am connected to a 1080p monitor, this can output 4K at 60 frames per second. Here we are on YouTube and the output right here, it's set to 4K at 60 frames per second. So, so here we are full screen guys. You can see everything looks pretty good. No issues buffering, playing it beautifully. Currently I don't see any drop frames, but I'll, I'll keep testing just to see if anything goes haywire. But no, you shouldn't have any issues with YouTube. Right now I am connected to the Wi-Fi. So this should be the same thing for Netflix. If you guys use Kodi, if you guys use um, Plex, like I have loaded right here, this should basically cover everything that you have. You shouldn't have any issues streaming on this. But what about gaming? Let's go ahead and do a quick benchmark and then we'll test it out on a couple games. So here are the results of the benchmark. So the single core score is 421 and the multi core score is 1182. Now if you scroll down, it will give you some more information, the base frequency as well as the, the max frequency. So about on par as well as the information on the actual graphics. Scroll down even more, it gives you the, the score performance as well as some of the tests that were, were actually ran. So you can kind of pause the video if you need to take a, a deeper look, but it did do some basic tests on this device. Now, as far as gaming, I was able to play a couple games on this device. Didn't notice any issues. Quality is not going to be what you get on your, your Xbox or your gaming console or your gaming PC. But this is still manageable for some light gaming. Here I am playing Asphalt. You can see everything looks pretty good. The gameplay is really smooth. No drop frames that I noticed. And a little bit of light gaming will be just fine on this device. I should know that the device did get a little bit warm, guys. But that's expected, especially when the cooling is all coming from the fins on the outside. So what are my final thoughts on this mini PC? This is great if you're traveling. This is great if you want to use it for streaming. Great if you prefer the Windows operating system over something like Android or even your Apple TV. Uh, this does have a couple USB ports. So if you have a mini keyboard or air mouse or a gaming controller like I use for the games, works fine. And for some people, because it's Windows, it's easier to, to stick with. And I can see this being very valuable. So the current price on this is $199.99. However, I will be leaving a coupon code in the description where you guys can save some money. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. Let me know if you want me to do a Plex Media server on this device. That way we can test it out and see if that's even an option. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell. Make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway.